Hey bro, what's up? You here? Yeah. So Carl, what are we gonna do today? Dude, we're gonna go and eat a ton of food here in Jammu. And what a lot of people don't know is Jammu is a foodie heaven. Like a lot of places that I visit here in India, it's a lesser known place. And people don't realize there's a lot of unique cuisine here that we're gonna try. So let's go hit the streets. Let's try some street food now. Nah? And yeah. then let's go home and have some home cooked dogra food. Let's take your bike, eh? Yeah, here's all right today. You're comfortable with that? Yeah, yeah, let's do it, man. We just drove past the Bandara, and here in Jammu at the Bandara, they serve Rajma Chawal, the traditional Jammu food. Whereas like in Delhi, you get like aloo sabzi and puri, or if you're lucky, you get chole and rice. It's funny how different Bandaras around India, they serve different dishes. We're starting our food walk here with Kachalu Chaat, and this is a super, super, famous and loved chart here in Jammu. Namaste ji, kaise? Sab theek hai? Ji, um, do plate kachalu chaat di ji. Alright, I've got the kachalu chaat here and this one is with chili and it reminds me of kind of like cold potato covered in a bunch of spices and chili. Let's try it. It is freaking hot, oh my god. Why am I eating this on a 43 degree day? Anyway, it's good, but I have no idea what flavors I'm, I'm tasting. All I can taste is the chili, so let's go and ask the guy here and get him to show us how it's made, and then we can get a better idea of what the hell is in this, because I have no idea. Chal. See, um, it's made here, like chili or... Ajwan. Ajwan. White salt, black salt. Huh. Mango pulp. Mango pulp, ah, that makes sense. Thank you, Jay. Mmm, awesome. This one is better than the chili one. Okay. Much better. We can actually taste a lot of flavors in this one, rather than the chili overpowering it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my god, thank you so much. Amazing. What is this? It's pan flavor ice cream. Pan flavor ice cream, okay, great. So this guy won't take money from me. I'm trying to pay him, but he's saying no when he's giving me ice cream. That is the kind of hospitality you're gonna find in India. Mmm, wow. It's fruit pan flavor. And pan is a very, very Indian flavor. I've never seen it anywhere else in the world besides India pan flavor. And I can't describe it for you, I'm sorry. It's, it's beetle nut leaf with sugar and, and fruit. And you get it on the street from all these street vendors outside. And usually you, you put the pan in your mouth and you just suck on it and all these red juices come out through your mouth and then you spit it out at the end. Not my kind of thing, but your ice cream is damn good. Or hookah pan. Whenever I'm in Haryana, they're always smoking hookah pan. Danya Okay, thank you. We're riding through the back streets of Jammu right now to go and find Kalari Kulcha. And it's basically like bread with this special kind of buffalo mozzarella in the middle of it. And who doesn't love cheese, no? Can we get through? Bro, why are we driving down here? <laughs> We're here for Kalari Kulcha, but the owner's already given us his very own Banta and Banta is like lime soda. And I thought they only used the word Banta in Delhi, but they use it up here in Jammu as well, so cool. But this is not what we're here for. We're here for Kalari Kulche. And it's a piece of bread with this special kind of mozzarella cheese in the middle. I've been dying to try this. Chal. Ji, hum Kalari Kulche chahiye. Theek hai? Do Kalari Kulche laga ho cha badhiya. So, yeah, do you Yes, sir. How many ka hai ye to ho gaya, 
So this is the second most famous street food here in Jammu. And as you can see, it's a bread bun with this special cheese in the middle. So it's kind of like a vatapau. It's kind of like Gujarat's Dibali. It's a vegetarian hamburger here in Jammu, basically. Ha, kalari kolche hai. Ha, mujhe malum hai. Mmm. And they serve with green chutney and tamarind chutney, sweet tamarind chutney. It's not paneer, it's the closest thing to buffalo mozzarella that I've, I've ever had. It's really, truly really white and creamy cheese. I mean, this whole thing. And look how famous this guy is. Look at this wall. You know when you see a wall of photos like this, this guy is popular. I've seen this around India in different restaurants. They put photos of themselves with their famous clients. And there's so many people here enjoying the food, so that's always a good sign, right? Good night, Kahaji. Good night. No, no. Most welcome. Most welcome. Okay. Which state? New Zealand. But now I'm in Delhi, so my wife is a Hindustani. A Haryan girl. I'm going to take her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish people would take my money. <laughs> but that's like the hospitality here, you know. You can get Faluda Kulfi anywhere in North India. But my friend told me this place has the best in India. So let's see if she's right. I'm not sure because... To me, the Parsi version of Faluda is the best in the world. Let's find out. So this is Faluda Kulfi. And sometimes it comes in a cup or sometimes they kind of deconstruct it on a on a plate like this and it's always like milk these noodles you got here and some kind of rose syrup usually and then ice cream kulfi is indian ice cream and like i said i love the parsi version they do in a cup it is the best in the world but let's see let's see how this compares so you just mix the kulfi and the faluda together like that and eat it mm. okay it definitely beats delhi Faluda Kulfi for sure. Sorry Dali, I love you but... Mm. And the flavor of the ice cream is Kesar or saffron in English. It's really soft ice cream. It's a little bit different from ice cream actually Kulfi, it's not exactly ice cream. So sorry Chakshu, it's not the best in the world but it's pretty damn good. Now we're here at a very famous Mitaiwala on the streets, on the back streets of Jammu here. We're gonna try chocolate barfi. I'm told it's really, really great here. So yeah, chocolate barfi, hai na? Check this out. Awesome. Let's give it a go, eh? Oh my. This is something different. My God. Holy crap. This is out of this world. It's more than a barfi though. It's like fudge and barfi mix. It's really soft, really juicy. A little bit of chocolate, not too much chocolate. Just an amazing flavor. It's probably my new favorite mitai. I've never had chocolate barfi like this anywhere else in India. Very different than Holy Rams and Bikaneer Valor and anything else like that that you'll find. This is really is handmade and beautiful. We're gonna try Sunten next because the chocolate barfi was so amazing and the thick. Oi. And it's kind of like a mixture of nuts and different bits and pieces. And it's actually given by the mother to the daughter when she gets pregnant. It's, it's, it's popular for that purpose. Just give it a go. I'm not pregnant. And the cameraman is not my mom. So Sund has cashew nuts, it has almonds, and ji ye ke hai, ye flake Gund. And gund, I don't know what gund is in, in Hindi, but I'll translate it. Mm. I know what this is. It's like a really, really sweet kind of cornflake with a bunch of nuts and raisins in it. It's really sweet. And the raisins and the cashews work so, so well together. Mm, what up there? I've never had them like this before, ever. Only in Jammu, no? We're taking a break and we're here in the heart of the Dogra Kingdom here in Jammu. And these are the original people who ruled over Jammu. So over here you have the Dogra King's palace. This is his army headquarters right in front of us here. And over here we have a Dogra art museum. So right now we're just going to chill. We're just going to go check out some Dogra art, learn more about Dogra culture, and then we're going to go and eat some Dogra food, home cooked food. 
All right, it's nighttime now, and you can hear the temple across the road going. And right now we're gonna eat Dogra food at Vishal's house. He is gonna take us through Dogra food, and yeah, it's gonna be home cooked food. Vishal, Hi. bro, what's up? Yeah. Kaise? So, Sab fine. Up to New York for Sunday? Yeah. Acha, <laughs> maybe it's a good city, no? Okay. Thank you so much for having us. It's awesome. I can't wait to try the food. Yeah, sure, sure. I've been hearing so much about Dogra, <laughs> Dogra house. Sure. Let's do it, bro. I've got some sweets. Hang on. Apko amarti pa Sunday or? Why you take it? Yeah. Mitai ke liye kane ke baad ham khayenge na? Yeah, yeah, sure. Theek hai. Your Hindi is good. Yeah, I brought, I brought Haryanvi sweets. But my, well, but my English is not good. Theek hai, theek hai. Don't worry, bro. Ham Hindi bolenge na? Loving it here, man. Like a lot of people just they don't stop in Jammu. Yeah. They stop here for one night, and then they keep going yeah, to yeah, Srinagar. Right, right, right. But I think people should stop here. All right, I just met Vishal and he was telling us a little bit about Dogra culture, which is the local people of Jammu. So you also have Kashmiri pundits here and you have Muslims as well. But Dogra people are all over Jammu. And yeah, we're gonna try their food. He's gone to get the food now. So let's, let's check out Dogra food, no? So this is Kyur. And Kyur is a very, very special Dogra dish. It's used to welcome a guest back home after a long, long time, or it's also used during the marriage process when the husband goes to the wife's house and the salis, they'll rip a bit off like this. They'll, they'll put a bit of sugar on it and they'll feed it to the jija. Wow. Oh my God. It is so fresh and just come out of the fryer. It's made of maida, of, of flour. It's really tasty. The closest thing I can liken it to is maybe like idli or maybe like dosa, like a cross between the two. It's really good. It has these really, really light spices in it. There might only be salt in it, I think. It's just got a really, really light, light and kind of flowery taste. It's really good. It doesn't need the sugar though. I don't need the sugar. It's so good by itself. You know, it looks like, it looks like a pita bread more than a puri, but it's fried like a puri, but it looks like a, like a pita bread. And then we have here, we have ambul, and this is super, super famous, this ambul. It is made of pumpkin. It's like a, like a thick pumpkin curry. And it's meant to be killer with this, which is chane ki dal. It is, a dal made up of these small kind of chickpeas you get here in India. And then of course we have to have rajma. Rajma is one of the most famous dishes here in Jammu and they have their very own special type of rajma that will be hard to find around the rest of India. So they're famous for rajma here. And rajma is beans basically. And then we have the final dish here which is a sabzi, a vegetable. What is ka naam kya hai? And this is called kasro, and it is basically made from a fern. Can you guys see that? It's made from a fern. Let's get stuck in and let's try this now. I'm really keen to try the bread. It looks beautiful. Mmm. Yep, just like I thought. It's it's a puri, but it, it's it's a pita bread puri, if you know what pita bread is. And I think I should try the ambul first. Everyone is telling me about ambul. Wow, I don't like pumpkin, but I like ambul. It's, it's sweet and it's spicy pumpkin. It's just delicious, a little bit more. Yeah, very sweet and very spicy pumpkin, perfect. I love like Indian vegetarian food because sometimes you can't taste those horrible vegetables like broccoli or pumpkin. You just get this amazing spicy version of them. And my, my stomach has to be Indian. And now the kas ror, the vegetable dish we have here. And these are especially popular here in Jammu. Mmm, I've never eaten a fern before. It reminds me of, of beans, basically. Beans, spicy beans. A little bit of chili, and there's some other kind of a masala, they've, they've cooked them with it. You'll only get this here in Dogri culture. Now you guys all probably know that I'm a huge, huge fan of dal, and especially when it's made of, of, of chane. Mm. 
delicious. It's a super spicy, but super soft dal. And actually what the locals do here is, I think they mix the ambol with the dal, like that. Ha, ah, it's a deadly combo, wow. You get like the spiciness of the dal and then the, the sweetness of the ambol kind of explodes in your mouth. Rajma. Rajma Chawal. We live on this in Delhi, honestly. Mm. I gotta say guys, forget the Rajma Chawal that you know, because the best Rajma Chawal recipe is the Jammu recipe. Mm. So I want you guys to go online, Google Rajma Chawal Jammu recipe, and just start making that because it's gonna blow you away. The rajma is not only better, the beans are not only better, but the flavor of the curry is really, really intense. It's not like watery or bland like rajma chawal can be. There is a ton of spice in there and it's, it's a really, really thick brown color. It's just like rajma chawal times 10. It is, it's too good. So what's this chutney called, bro? Anar dana ki chutney. Anar dana ki chutney. So it's anna charna. Anar dana ki chutney. Anar dana. Anar dana. Anar dana. Yeah. Anar ki chutney. Dana. Ki chutney. And anar is pomegranate, pomegranate no? Yeah. So, anar dana. And the final little dish here is a chutney. And this is anar dana. And that's basically pomegranate chutney. Let's give this a go. Oh my god. What have they made? This is the best chutney I've ever had. Yeah, it's really, really tangy. It's got that, that anar, a tiny bit of anar flavor. You don't get that burst of pomegranate flavor, but it's super tangy and a lot of onion in it and just a little bit of, of, of anar flavoring. Wow, it's amazing, it's beautiful. I've never had that kind of a chutney before. I'm really used to just the coconut chutney and the kind of the green chili chutney that we get, but this one is something special. Oh my God, I'm in love with this, this dogri kana. And there's nothing better than home cooked food, right? Like home cooked food is always a thousand times better than anything else you'll ever find. Manojan, you need to come up here to Jammu and just get stuck into this so we can start eating this at home, no? How is that, guys? Like, you will not find that dogra food anywhere else but inside somebody's home. There is no restaurant that serves this, so I'm really happy to have been able to show you guys that. And also that other food that we tried, you have to come to Jammu to get it. You won't find kalare, kulche anywhere else. So get your butts to Jammu and come explore this amazing region of Jammu and Kashmir. And I'm gonna be exploring a lot more of Jammu in the coming videos. And I've also got plans to come back here next year as well. Now in the comments, Jammu Wale, tell me what else I missed. I know I missed a lot of your street food, so tell me in the comments what I missed. And next time I'm here, I'll eat it. Jai Hind. And here we have another couple of side dishes that come with the Kachalu Cha. So we have arm churin, and let's try it. It's really, really salty mango and it looks like there's, there might be like pomegranate seeds in there mixed in as well, I'm not sure. That's what it looks like to me. Mm. It's got a very, very strong mango flavor and maybe pomegranate flavor as well. And now to the Mitty Imli. And Imli in English is, uh, Anna, no, it's not Anna. What is Emily? And this is tamarind in English. And tamarind is used in so many street food or chart, like snack food dishes. Let's try this. Usually you don't eat it by itself like this. Mmm. Wow, if you get a piece of that Emily in your mouth, it kind of explodes with like this little ball of flavor and there's a lot of salt I can taste and super sweet. It's kind of almost like you're sucking on one of those kind of those little hard one rupee candies, except it's way more, way more juicy. Mmm. Watch out for the pip though. Yum. This one is good, man. Okay, so Mitty Imli is definitely my favorite here, and the kachalu without the chili. Don't go for the chili version, especially on a hot day. That was so stupid of me. <laughs>